Yo, what's up? It's the pot, and I'm back like I left my car keys on the coffee table. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure if you get anything from this video, you share this with someone that cares about hats, especially someone that is getting into Goran hats. And guys, today I'm going to show you guys my current Goran Brothers trucker hat collection. Now, before we get started though, I want to kind of tell you guys how I got into it. I used to see plies on Instagram all the time with these kind of hats. At first, I wasn't really paying attention. Then, then the more and more I watched them, like, hey man, Plies wears these hats a lot during these Instagram lives and, and little clips that he does. And they're pretty dope. But in my mind, just naturally thinking like we always do, we think these celebrities are wearing, especially if it's something that we're not familiar with, we think that these celebrities are wearing something that is extremely expensive that's out of our reach. Especially something like that which kind of gives me these hats, give me that nostalgic feel of Von Dutch hats and stuff like that from back in the day, which are coming back into style now. And I kind of, after a while, I'm like, yo, man, let me let me check out this place. And then I think, you know, the hat came across my Instagram feed. I don't know if your phone is just like reading your mind or to hear you talking about a trigger hat and then it started popping up. I'm like, yo, let me, let me go on the website. And I bought one of my first Gordon hats and then I was like, you know what? I bought another one. And I bought another one. I was like, man, let me keep going. Let me try to find the goofy stuff. Let me get more into it. And I did. And now at this point, I have about 21 hats. I'm going to show you guys um, all of my collection. And then, I'm, well, most of my collection. Then I'm going to show you the top five that I have that I like the most. Some of these hats, I have not had the opportunity to wear yet. But I'm going to get to it. And I'm on a hunt, like this is my new thing. I'm on a hunt to find the ones with really goofy stuff on it, the stuff that's hard to find. Like everyone knows that it's in the Gore hats, knows that you can always get the Panther hat. You can always get the Freedom Eagle hat. You can always get the Goat hat, you know, stuff like that. But I'm on the on the hunt for the stuff with really weird sayings or just, just the stuff that's weird. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys my collection. And here they are. Now, uh, I'm just gonna put on, I'm gonna show you guys each one. Hopefully I have some B-roll of it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys each one and I'm gonna put them on. So these are the most, the first few I'm gonna show you are the most recent ones that I purchased. Some of them I have not worn yet. This says floater right here. I have not worn this one yet. Um, but it has a flamingo on it. It has like a, a, a black and navyish tie dye looking thing on the back, and it's mainly a black and navy, mo mostly navy. I think it's a really really dark navy on it, and it's really really cool. I'm going to save this for when I go on vacation to the beach or something, and this is what it looks like on right here. The next one. Uh, haven't worn this one yet either. It says hungry on it. Like hungry hippos. I don't know. Is this bananas going in his mouth? Alright, whole bananas. I have not worn this yet. It's more of an olive color. Now most of the ones that are really weird and have stuff like hungry and crazy stuff, I got from DTLR. If you go to the Goran Brothers site, they're not going to have all the quirky stuff up that you see here. You have to go to third party sites and get those. And those are kind of archived third parts. I don't know if they make like exclusive for other uh, websites and stuff, but the really quirky weird ones, you're gonna have to go to other websites like Buckle and stuff like that, which I've gotten, Buckle got my hats from Buckle and um, DTLR so far that are, are the really cool ones. Um, and then on the Friday drops on Gordon Brothers, they'll drop something real weird and quirky, uh, quirky um, that you may like that's a little bit out of the norm. And it's kind of, you know, first come, first serve. And they certainly probably sell out a lot of times by midnight or maybe even before then. But yeah, this is the Hungry Hungry Hippo one. And it's tan on the back, like a dark tan on the back, or a light tan, I'm sorry. And it's olive in the front. And this is it. Boom. The next one it is a neon yellow. It says Legend with a unicorn on it. Pretty cool. Chain in color. This one, save, it says save on, I guess save the dolphins. It's tan with like a like a camo uh, tie-dye um, green on the front 
With 10, pretty cool. I've worn this a couple of times. This one right here is has a giraffe, a giraffe and it says hi. This next one is brown. Now a lot of the hats that I have are brown and a lot of the cooler ones that I've seen so far are brown or have some type of brown hue to them. But this one has an owl on it and it says wise ass. Haven't got an opportunity to wear this one yet. really really big head so um <laughs> I'm like when I wear these hats it's only like the last two snaps this is another one I have this brown it says ass it's a donkey on it right on time it's mostly brown and tan and brown and tan and has an orange back tab this one is another one that I have this brown is uh it's got like a, a navy front right here and the brim is leather. It's a brown leather. Haven't had the opportunity to wear this one yet, but it's grounded. It says it has a groundhog on it. Pretty cool. Another one, it says extra large with <laughs> extra large with an elephant on it. And it has this uh like you know wool texture. I forgot the name of this pattern, but it's pretty cool for winter. This Black Panther hat is actually the first Gordon Brothers hat that I purchased, and it is really cool. It's something I can always wear. I can throw on. This is a hat that I keep um, by my keys uh, in the house, in my in my valet in the house. So I can just throw something on. A lot of times, I can just throw this hat on and get it in and out, and it goes well with any any outfit that I may put together. This one. Bad boy, right here. I like this one as well. Didn't make my top five, but this one is pretty cool. Has a dog on it. Says bad boy. Bad dog. <laughs> bad dog. This is basically a Black Panther hat, but it's in red. I could have gotten, I should have got a different type of animal on here um, when I had the opportunity to, but this one is still pretty cool. It breaks up all the dark colors that I have of these hats. This is another one. It's Baby blue, which this is my favorite color, one of my favorite colors, that and gray together. And that's the main reason why I got this one. The back is white, which is a little bit different than the other hats. The stitching is a little wiggly, wobbly up here on the brim. Um, and it says Husky on it. Nothing super special about it other than the colors that I like. This one is really cool, the hump one. Now, I've worn this once or twice. Um, this is one of those exclusives that I got from the Goran Brothers site and it's suede on the brim and it has that, that zigzag stitching and it has a camel that says hump but one thing that I really thought was cool, the fact that it had a sun right there, the different colors, is a, it's a royal blue up front and a baby blue on the back and the back tab is tan. This is a really cool hat and a cool concept from Goran. Another brown hat that I have and it says king on it. Something real easy and simple. Nothing super special about it, but it is though. And the last one before I get into my top five is the Freedom Hat. It's camo. Um, it has an eagle on it. I like the fact that it has a contrast of the red right here. On the back, it's black. And this tab right here is red as well. All right, guys, here we go. The moment of truth for me. The top five hats in my Gordon Brothers trucker hat collection. Now, number one, this is recent. This is a recent purchase that I just got. And I thought, I thought out of all of these with the weird sayings and, and quirky sayings that these guys have, I thought this was probably the funniest one and it's, it has two owls on it, and it says Big Hooters. I can't. This is genius. <laughs> now at some point, Gordon, if, if anybody from the Gordon team is watching this video, you guys happen to run across my very, very small channel, and um, you want to take some advice from me or, or get an idea from me, 
push the envelope even more. Okay, with the words, make it exclusive to where you can't buy it. Have something crazy or a crazy curse word or anything on here that um, will push the envelope. Because as you know, you guys got something going great and people will buy it. Like if you have something that's really, really nuts on one of these, people will line up to buy one of these. So I think this is dope. It's brown. It's like a, a tan, a dark tan right here, and it's brown. The stitching contrast right here on the brim and on the back is orange back tab and it's brown right here. This is a very, very, very cool hat. And uh, this is gonna be something I'm gonna keep for a while. Okay, number four. This comes in at number five and four in my collection out of the top five. And I have not worn this yet. I just think this one is really cool that it has pit bull, a pit bull on it. And it has the, um, you know, like a uh, forest camo on it, country boy camo. And it just kind of goes well. The pit bull kind of goes well with the theme of being outdoors and being rough and rugged. The, the brim is green with some tannish brown stitching. The back is like an orangey tan and the back tab is brown. This is a great hat to have. My head is big, let me see I can't fix that. And it looks great, man. All right, number three. Now, the reason why number three is number three and actually in my top five, even though it is a very generic hat from Gore, is mainly because of the customization that I did to it myself. So I was about three or four hats in and I got this hat. And I'm like, yo, you know what would be dope? If I just distressed the hat a little bit. So I got some sandpaper on this goat hat, which is denim right here, mainly. It's like a denim hat. I got some sandpaper, and as you guys can see, I kind of hit it a little bit to give it a weathered look. You see where the threading is coming out? And this is something, Gordon, I don't know if you guys may be watching, that you probably should do to some of these hats. You know, come out with one that's really something like a pit bull, you know, or put an elephant one and put earthquake on it or something. I don't know, and, and buff it out. I think it'll be dope. So. If not, I'll, when you come out with something close to that, I'll just distress it myself. So I got a little small piece of sandpaper and I buffed it out. And I think it looks pretty cool like this. Um, it gives it a little bit more of a weathered look, a distressed look. And um, yeah, it's a great hat to wear with denim or anything. This is one of those hats that you can throw on with everything just because of the colorway of it and the fact that it's denim up front. So there you go. Number two in my top five. This is probably the best looking hat mainly because of the material that it has. And this is the all black leather long wolf hat. Now, um, this is one of those hats to where if you're wearing something slightly formal, you can get away with it because of the material. Um, if you're wearing something that is this, that's not as casual as normal. Like if you're wearing like a, I don't know, a button up shirt or maybe even a suit, you know? Uh, yes, it may throw it a little bit off cause you have a, a patch on it, but this is the most appropriate hat that I, I think they have for formal wear because it's all leather and it's black. So I had to pick this up. I saw uh, one of those Instagram model guys wearing this online and I'm like, yo, I gotta get one of these. And I just so happened to see that they had it online and it was available and I got it. So this is number two, probably the most or the best looking hat as far as aesthetics that you can wear with everything in any type of situation, right? The number one hat in my collection, my favorite hat, and it may, be, may even come with some, you know, be a surprise to you guys if you've seen all the other hats that I have in my collection. And it right now, it is the blue killer whale hat. Mainly, I like blue, but I really like the contrast of this bright red around here. And it has a whale on it and it says killer of all things. I just think this is dope. Um, it is nothing super special about it. It doesn't have any leather on it or any crazy suede or any crazy um, zigzag stitching or anything. I just really like the color blocking of it, you know? Um, 
that's pretty much it about it. I just take a liking to this hat over all the other hats that I have. And it also looks extremely amazing on my head. Hey guys, that is pretty much it. Guys, if you're not in the Gorn, I hope I showed you guys something. If anybody from the Gorn team is watching, I hope I gave you guys some ideas. Send me some stuff. <laughs> but anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And always remember, you, right there, on the couch, eating Cheetos. You are the flyest motherfucker on planet Earth. I'll see you guys later.